that is really out of your norm. I mean, I couldn't believe that I heard that you gave this man the five-finger discount. And let me ask you this. After giving him the check of check, the chin check that you gave him, has he changed his way? I did. I did. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, it's just... You know, for, you know, Freddie, I have to give you, know, Freddie's a more patient man, he's a more professional guy, and unfortunately I hope this doesn't, isn't any reflection on him or Manny, it was just, uh, he was talking about something that's, number one, way out of his pay grade, number two, he doesn't know shit about, oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, you know, with all the, with all the, what he had, to, had started with, you know, interfering with Freddie and, and Manny's relationship, not letting Freddie get in touch with, uh, with Manny, you know, constantly trying to keep them separated, not having a room for Freddie when we got to, to uh, bag you out, you know, putting Freddie a half an hour away from, from Manny, you know, he's just, that's, you know, that kind of passive aggressive uh, stuff that he does, and, and, you know, he perpetuates it with, you know, doing little things like that, or, you know, trying to cram us all in one room, and, you know, but he crossed the line when, when he went over, when he started talking about the corner, and what, we, I mean, we're the Team Pacquiao, Freddie, Boo Boy, and myself, you know, the other guys, I mean, we're the real guys that are part of this team. He just, he's just a hanger on, as far as I'm concerned, and he talked right. about something that, had, like I said, was way out of his pay grade, and he didn't know anything about, and it was time to, you know, to straighten him out. I mean, I've never known a grown man to sleep in a garage underneath, in a, in a parking structure, and they call themselves a manager and advisor. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense, but, you know, I don't know. I, 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 unfortunately, you know, I'm, a, uh, I'm an educated guy, but I really can't speak intelligently when it comes to Michael Kahn. You know, when I did talk to Manny about it, he didn't know what I was talking about. You know, and I said, he, yeah. he thought, what his understanding was that I had got fired from Wildcard. And yeah, no, I, we, we pretty much know what's happening, and we're not going to put the drama out outside the camp for, for everyone to get involved with. Um, obviously, we know that, that uh, a, particular, a particular individual is kind of back to his old ways and trying to get rid of other people that, that almost, for some reason, he has fear of that are going to take his spotlight away or whatever whatever his issues are. Yeah. So, you know, if, if, that's, if that's Michael's agenda, you know, unfortunately, I heard from several of the team members last night. Um, it's, it's actually, you know, very... It's, it's, it's hurtful in a way because, you know, I, I thought him and I were past that and I thought, but, um, you know, that's that's his thing. Uh, my job is to get Manny ready, focus on this fight, and, you know, uh, if, if Manny doesn't know about it, doesn't hear about it, doesn't care about it, then it's not an issue to me. I mean, here, it, I'll be honest with you, it's an issue to me. Um, if I even had the thought process that you were going to get removed from the team when you're sitting there to benefit the team, to me, that, that just, it, it's almost unfathomable. And someone started asking me, have you seen on Phil Boxing that, that Michael Collins has been axed? And I'm like, no, no way. And, and they said, yeah. And I said, is it true? And they said, yeah. Everything we, we, we were told, yeah, it's true. And this is coming from like a really, really reliable source, you know, in, in the camp. I'm super, thanks for asking. All things considered, I couldn't be better, I'm a thing. I'm feeling super, no nothing bugs me. No, my response is it's all hogwash. I mean, I... Life's a piece of shit when you look at it. Life's a laugh and death's a joke, it's true. You'll see it's all a show, keep them laughing as you go. Just remember that the last laugh is on you. And always look on the bright side of
let's just say that, that justice is being done for Manny. Uh, if he continues, uh, trust me, anytime he wants to get inside the cage, and, and, and mono to mono, hand to hand, trust me, we can do that. Michael Marley, you know, he's Bob Arum's boy. You know, you know whose pocket he's in. And then I just want to thank everybody for supporting and ask that all the fans continue to support mp8.ph. I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too, Grandma. I've been thinking about you all the time. Looks like everybody's having fun here, huh? Mayweather's commanding presence looms even larger with his massive entourage. Who's on tour with Floyd Mayweather? I got different security teams. My security is not to harm or hurt anyone. It's to alleviate any problems that could happen. There's a lot of people that helped Floyd Mayweather get to the top. God is always first on my list. My grandmother, Bernice Mayweather. My mother has been a heavy influence on my career in my life. Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby, they take care of the business. Roger Mayweather. Nate Jones wears the bodysuit. Raphael Garcia, he's the eye and hand specialist. We have a tremendous team. And everybody, PYP, play your position. <laughs>